Hi, it's the Boffin. Today I'm going to fix my Acer Chromebook. I love my little Chromebook. It's fabulous. The problem is the click doesn't. You have to use a sort of subtle touch click and I really don't like that. So I've ordered a replacement touchpad from China. It was only about $20 and we'll get on with having a look inside this thing. Let me just flip it on, flip it over and we'll see what's uh, going on. First, inside the box, replacement touchpad, just says Acer C720, 740. Doesn't seem to be anything much to it. Nothing else in the box, other than some little styrofoam bit. Let's get on with taking this apart. It's held in with a bunch of uh, screws at the back here. I've already got started on it. Not sure if that's the lot. There's a couple more in the middle that I haven't got to, but let's just see what happens. Got a little plastic spudger here. Let's see if we can get inside to open this up. Just held in with some loose clips. I think we'll take these last, make sure. And for those that were paying attention, yes, this is a U.S. robotics screwdriver. How's that for going back in time? Inside, back just comes off fairly easily. And it's underneath the battery. Well, the battery is held in with what appears to be this connector here. It comes out relatively easily. And just a couple of screws. Now I'm going to put the screws aside because they're a slightly different size than the ones in the back. And the battery appears loose and just wiggles out. Kind of a nice little battery. Pouches, LiPo, 11.25 volts, so 3S, at uh, basically 4 amp hours, 45 watt hours total. Put that aside. And here's the touchpad assembly. There's our new one over here. Get this out of the plastic and we'll have a look and see how this uh, compares. Looks like it's the same thing. And having a look at the new part will certainly show us what we need to take out for the old part. And it looks like we don't have to... Uh, we can either take out the existing cable or use the one that came with it. But let's just uh, see which is easier. Take out this uh, cable uh, 
I almost think it might be easier to undo it at this end. Tweezers will help. And I really like these angled tweezers. These cables have a little pull on them that comes out fairly easily. And then it looks like there's just a few screws around the outside holding it in place. I suspect we also have to take off this metal bracket here. And all of this is done with just small Phillips screwdrivers, or Phillips screws. So far, just one screwdriver to take apart the entire unit. That's impressive. So this little metal clip comes off the front. Looks like it provides part of the uh, clicking mechanism. In fact, that looks like that's the actual button right there. Interesting. I'll probably hit that up with a little bit of sandpaper. I'm wondering whether that's the actual, the only problem is a little bit of corrosion on there because that looks like a metal to metal contact. Interesting. Well, we'll put the new one in anyway to see what happens. Then there's a little plastic cover here. We can just fold that up to get at the screws. In fact, before we do all this, let's just try cleaning the corrosion off the back of this uh, and see whether that solves our problem. If so, we can sell the new one on eBay. Could be an easier fix than I ever thought. Let's get a zoom in of exactly where I thought that problem was. Yeah, it's a little too close. Right in here, again, we're a little too close. So this is the actual touch point for the clicking on the touchpad. And what hits it is this little metal bracket pushes up against this, which is grounded. On the back of this, there's quite a bit of corrosion right here. So I'm kind of wondering whether it's just that dirty. What I'm going to do is sand that off, and we'll try a quick test fit and see if that solves the problem. I'll be right back. Okay, i got a tiny little bit of sandpaper here. And we'll just see if we can't clean this off. That looks nice and clean. Let's uh, quickly put this back together and see what happens. Okay, moment of truth. Did we not push the battery connector in all the way? Or did we not have the keyboard? Well, I grabbed the power supply and plugged it in here. Open it up. Let's see if our little fix helps solve the problem. And the answer is...
And no, it hasn't solved the problem. So let's get back and figure out what's going on. And uh, again, very easy to disassemble this. Even with my clumsy hands. So the back of this trackpad take out this connector and the five screws that hold in the trackpad and the trackpad just lifts out a little bit of tape and that's all there is to it. I may have to salvage that tape for the new one. Well, they actually even provide the tape right here on the new one. So this just drops in. Only tape on one side, so I will have to salvage. We can push the old wire out of the way. Thread this under the keyboard connector in a moment. But that seems to slot in place just fine. Out with the old wire. We'll thread in the new. Since you double over the end here, really don't like flex wires there. Difficult to work with. I've taken this little cover off, which holds it in place. I'm not sure. I really should have taken that all the way. Well, this is going to require magnification. Out with the uh, OptiVisor, let's get a closer look. Well, that was fiddly, but it's in, and it seems to be in the right place. Let's just uh, button up the rest of these screws and reassemble the rest of this. As with a lot of these, always worth just tightening them up lightly until it's all lined up on every side. 
before really giving it a good uh, tighten. Line this one up first. Interesting. The Chinese one, the plastic, gets in the way. On the original, there were tiny holes drilled through, so you have to lift the plastic to get these in. No wonder they wouldn't go in. So let's uh, put the battery in, and we'll tighten it down, and we'll see whether we have success. There we are. Turn it on. Might want the AC. I really do love these Chromebooks. Yeah, it looks like it wants the AC power. I didn't have much charge in here. And when reconnecting the battery, it might take a while for it to figure out that it's good. Of course, plugging it in on the right side makes sense. boots. Well, the trackpad itself works, moves around, and the click looks like it works. Well, let's close this up, put the last few screws in, and take it from there. Putting this on, you can just hear all the little clips going into place. And it's held together with three, six, nine, eleven, thirteen screws. Lucky us. Again, we'll just do them loosely and then come back and tighten them all at the end. And the final result. If you don't have a Chromebook, these are great little devices, especially for traveling. You never have to worry about uh, losing your data because your data is actually stored in a the cloud. They're inexpensive. I paid $130 for this off Groupon. They, they're just bulletproof. Uh, they play videos, great little devices to have. And I'm happy now because mine seems to work. Again, thanks for watching, and if you want to see more Boffin videos, be sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up to this video. Thanks again.